Hello, this is Skywarp's Hangar, and today we have SH Figure Arts First Order Stormtrooper Heavy Gunner. He comes in a box, which I don't know if you can see. Oh my goodness. There we go. Yeah, he comes in a box, uh, which is a little bit different from uh, most of the Figure Arts that we're used to. Uh, he doesn't have the plastic panel, so you can see the figure as soon as you get it, but... It's a nice box. In that box comes in a brown box. Take a look at this side. Get the top. Get the top. And get the other side. Yeah. Some Japanese writing. Oh no! <laughs> um if you're familiar with the figure arts, which if you buy him, you no doubtably would be. Um, he's very similar to the previously released First Order Stormtrooper that we have right here. Very good mold. Uh, there's a few changes on it. Not many, but there are a few to make me feel like I didn't just purchase the same thing over with the chest piece. <clears throat> he does come with his heavy gun which that's pretty nifty let me put him right back down as you can see it has some cool paint apps on it down the uh, the base of it kind of wish it had three legs so it could stand on its own without being held Wait, can it be Oh, what, what? Never mind. It can. <laughs> and if you don't want it to uh, be on its base, it also comes with this little piece, which attaches. So you could just hold it. Go crazy commando. It has a, a peg right here. And then you see a half moon peg at that point. So you just plug it into the two pegs and that way you can hold them. Good paint apps, good detail, really clean looking. As for the figure, the figure is very similar to the other one as I stated. Uh, I'm going to try to go over any differences there may be. Uh, you aren't going to get this gun with this guy. But uh, what you do get is you get the gun on his thigh. Uh, very similar to the Black Series figure. Ah, they're all side by side. Isn't that cute? Yeah, you get uh, the gun that's holstered on his thigh. Um... Which, that's pretty cool. That's a nice little addition. So, I'm glad that we, uh, I did just buy a complete same figure. And, of course, there is the, uh, the vest, which, I don't know if that vest comes off. I don't think it does. And I'm not going to try. Um... I don't know, it seems pretty well attached to him. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it moves, so they might have... Uh, they might have glued that to it. It doesn't look like it's a mold, though. It doesn't look like it's molded into that. It looks like it's a piece over top of the previous armor. But it's very tight on there, and it's not coming off. Uh, at least I'm not taking it off. <clears throat> you do what you want with yours. <laughs> uh, this gun does come off. It has two pegs. As you can see. And it just pegs into his thigh. Very good mold. Very clean looking. It does match the white on him. Which that is nice. And you have two the peg holes 
can just plug it back in if you're not going to have him hold the the pistol. Uh, one thing I will say, he does come with the uh, two trigger fingers that you're used to, and that's for holding this pistol. But uh, he can't hold this uh, with this hand. I just use the two open palms to hold this because uh, that makes it a lot easier. Uh, he ad Additionally, he also comes with the fists that you're used to. And that's how he comes out of package. Let's see. For articulation, he can look down. He can look up. He can tilt his head to the side. He can turn his head. Yeah, get a lot of mo uh, movement there. Uh, his shoulder pads do move out of the way to make way for some articulation. You can move his shoulder up about that high. And then you get kind of like a little wiggle joint there. Of course, you can do a 360. And you get a swivel at the bicep. He does have double jointed elbows. He has a tilt at the wrist. And plus a swivel. He does have two points of articulation, one below the chest and then one at the waist. So you can get him in some uh, different positions for that. This is going to hinder because it touches the belt a little bit, but it's still cool. Really nice. And of course, that turns. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to take out the piece of plastic. Okay. Mm, these do move up and out of the way for the leg articulation. You can get his legs out about that far, which they are uh, the same articulation mold as the previous First Order Stormtrooper. Uh, you do get a swivel at the upper thigh, as well as double jointed knees, and they go up about that far. Uh, you do get some articulation at the foot, and you get the ankle tilt, as well as the toe. Don't forget the toe. But yeah, very nice uh, figure, especially if you're into troop building. Uh, this is a good figure to have. The one thing I will say though is if you are trying to stand him up and holding his heavy gun, this can seem get to where it's kind of awkward because you try to position him. Let's see. Let's see if I can do it. Maybe I just goofed with him. Yeah, you aren't going to be able to get his hand underneath. You can hold it. Uh, you can kind of hold the the handle. But you can't get that pose where you're holding it underneath. That one, you're going to have to have him kind of spread out a little bit more. His legs spread. And... Yeah. He's really cool, though. I like it. I like it a lot. If you are a figure arts fan, and if you true build, uh, if, uh, just if you're a figure arts fan, Star Wars fan, uh, I would definitely recommend him. He's a little pricey. He was a uh, web exclusive, so uh, typically they tend to run a little bit higher. But I'm glad to have him as a part of my collection. This is Skywarp's Hangar, and if you like our review, please click like, and please subscribe to our page to see more reviews from us.